How you guys doing? Welcome. Oh, just had a long day at work. Came home, got something to eat, took a shower. I'm like, it's time for some music videos. Let's start listening. So here's what I got cooking today. By the way, I'm Brian, your Records and Notes Nation. Welcome, come on in. I invited you over, glad you showed up. Take a seat, you're in my living room. We're going to watch together this video, and then I will give you a raw, honest, and unedited reaction. So this is Blind Guardian Majesty Live. Now I chose this one because this is going to be a kind of like a two-part reaction. I've done this before. So what I'll do is I'll take the original and then I'll take a cover. And then I'll react to both and then I'll give you my, my opinions on both. Um, this is not going to be a <clears throat> like a one long video. Uh, it's just going to be two separate videos, but you can watch it in two parts. So the cover is going to be from Dan Vask, who did this uh, this song as well. Uh, but Blind Guardian is so such a fantastic band, and, and Hansi is such a unique, strong uh, vocalist who fits that band very well. Um, so I want to get his vocals and then and then Dan's. This is po this was posted nine years ago on Constantinos. Paramiati, Paramatioti, uh, channel. I don't know if I said it right, but that's where you can find it. Um, yeah. You ready? Let's get started. The audio difficulty here. That's not easy to do because you're palm muting and I don't know the note length there but we could be looking at like probably well not 30 second notes uh, 16th notes maybe I don't know I'd have to listen and, and try and count I, my brain is too tired um, but I you know being able to palm mute and and deaden the notes um, and then <coughs> continue to, uh, and, and then strum, I guess, the chords um, in in a certain pattern that gives it that sound. It's just, it's difficult. <laughs> there.
double time.
shouldn't listen to this loud stuff after a long days of work because the sound and the lights man those are migraine triggers for me uh okay anyways let's get over that um so again power metal right it's it is at its essence loud and the guitars dominate the problem that I have with with power metal is you don't in a lot of the bands, uh, especially of the live performance, you there's such a wall of sound that you don't get to hear the bass, and that also is the drums problem too. They create that problem with that that double bass, double kick drum, um, playing like machine gun firing you know all of that noise all of those notes all of that motion and it's very difficult to pick out the separate sounds the drums are very identifiable and then of course when you have two guitars playing they're going to dominate the soundscape as well so the bass oftentimes get lo gets lost can't really hear what they were doing i have no idea why they had a key keyboard player on stage maybe just to kind of give the guy something to do because you can't hear the keys and sometimes you get the voice is lost in, in all of that sound. And Hansi has one of those fantastic, unique voices. He's, it, it's very guttural, grit-like singing, but he's really good at smoothing, around, smoothing those edges out when he needs to sing longer notes into a melody. Like in this case, not into a melody, because the vocals, vocals are melody. But into like um, uh, like the chorus in this one where it was oh majesty, it was so smooth and and he was able to come out of that almost uh, uh, yeah at times it was I don't want to say it was spoken word but it almost felt like he was talking it um, and then into more of the the longer note singing style you guys get what I'm saying um, you know Blind Guardian is is. A fantastic band and always has been. Uh, I really like their stuff. I like when they did the Demons and Wizards uh, albums. It was a collaboration between them and Iced Earth. Um, awesome, fantastic job. Um, not one of not name checked as one of like the top metal bands out there, power metal bands. But that's okay because we don't. As I'm going through this this journey of music. Um, I'm, I'm disowning a lot of the stuff that's related to uh, the record companies and the marketing and all that sort of stuff because there's so much talent out there that we don't need the record companies to tell us this is what is good and this is what is not good. It's all about personal preference, right? It's a subjective experience music listening is. So, fantastic. I'm looking forward to hearing how Dan and uh, how he sings it and, of course, his his backup band. I don't know if, which musicians he uses it from from video to video, but they always seem to put together spot on musically. So um, that's all I have for this one. I'd like you guys to check out the second one too. So let me know. Drop a comment here. Drop a comment there. Let me know what you think of the the the. I guess compare and contrast is what we're doing. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. I will talk to you later. Bye.